As a leader, are you usually able to turn your strategic plan into successful projects and achieve your breakthrough objectives? Or are you able to get your team to routinely improve their processes? Getting your team to be committed and competent is demanding. So how do you develop the practice to achieve challenging goals? Hello, my name is Pierre Bienvenue from EMP. We are here to help remove anxiety from leadership as they gain greater clarity and control. Within Walking Distance is a series giving tips, tools and reflections for leadership. If you are new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the links relevant to this video that you will find in the description box below. MP. So let's answer the question. How do you develop the practice of achieving challenging goals in your organization? I first want to give credit to Mike Rother for most of the content in this episode. Mike wrote the Toyota Kata in 2009, and since then he started a movement to spread the knowledge of the practice I introduce in this episode. We have two problems with, with improvement, or in other words, altering the current reality into a desired future. Even more basic, meeting your goals. First, we have many biases. We tend to jump to conclusions. See? What do you read below? Don't jump to conclusions. Exactly. You see, your brain fills the blanks automatically. And what do you see here? This lady is giving an address on the beach, on a flying carpet, and that's weird. Your brain tricked you again to believe that what you imagined was factual reality. Where are those biases coming from? Since our early age, our brain has developed neural pathways that help us react quickly to unexpected events. With limited knowledge, we jump to conclusions. It's natural. Biologists theorize that our ancestors are those that ran away from the rustling in the bushes rather than those that went to check out what it was. So that better safe than sorry mechanism is a survival mechanism that helps us get through the day. It also saves brain power. But it doesn't help to solve problems when we know that the reality is different from what we think. What we call common sense is a collection of biases. We are not too sure, for sure. The second problem with improvement is detailed plans don't usually work in the 21st century. The world we live in is getting more unpredictable. What we deliver and how we deliver it is unclear and changing. We need an adaptive way to achieve challenging goals, not the traditional project plan. By the way, that instability and unpredictability is the reason why business plans can't work for startup projects. So how do you achieve challenging goals when your brain and the world and the traditionalists in your organization are colluding against you and your team? There is an effective way to do that. It is called the improvement kata. A definition. A kata is a routine you practice, so its pattern becomes an automatic habit that gives you some new skills. Through practice, you rewire your brain to think and act differently. The improvement kata is a scientific routine for achieving challenging goals. How did we discover it? For six years, from 2003 to 2009, Mike Rother and his team studied the Toyota management system to try to understand how they were consistently improving after so many decades. What they discovered was below the visible stuff of continuous improvement tools and techniques. Rather summarizes it as being the systematic, scientific way of thinking and acting, 
Something like, don't jump to conclusions. Rather say, I don't know. Let's go and experiment to figure it out. Two, the managers are the coaches that teaches that way. Why the managers? Because they are the only people who can teach it every day. And the practice is developed by doing a little bit every day. To start with, what is the scientific thinking approach, the antidote to your brain jumping to conclusions? First, you need to know that ideas need to be tested. An idea is just a hypothesis, not a solution. You learn to compare what you think will happen with what actually happens after running an experiment or a trial. Then you adjust based on what you have discovered from the difference. That's one step toward your goal. What you learned will affect your next step. So scientific thinking is at the heart of the improvement kata. And this is what the pattern of improvement kata looks like. We determine where we want to go, the challenge. It can be a personal challenge, such as in 24 months, I'll run a marathon or a business one. For example, we'll increase new product sales to 20% of total sales in 18 months. From the outset, the challenge seems almost impossible to achieve. We need to understand where we are now. That is the current condition or actual situation. Then we define the next short-term goal that will connect the current condition to our challenge. It is the next target condition. Now, we make our way towards the target condition. We can't see too far in the future there is a limit to our knowledge. We push the threshold of our knowledge every time we take the next step towards the target condition. On our journey, we find unforeseen issues. There are obstacles. We don't go around the obstacles, we eliminate them. Since we don't usually have a solution, we experiment until the obstacle is removed. Every time we experiment, we learn. And this is how we push our threshold of knowledge toward the target condition. When we reach it, we decide on the next target condition. And again, until we meet our challenge. Then we start again with a new challenge. Actually, it isn't that simple and this is how reality looks like. A known obstacle await us and we don't see them until we experiment at our current knowledge threshold. The improvement kata give us confidence that we will achieve our target condition and eventually the challenge. We can never know exactly what steps will lead to our goals, but we can practice and learn how we reach goals. That's why this approach is so powerful in an uncertain world. It is adaptive. Now we understand this approach. We can practice the pattern and develop our own way for our organization. Circling back to our initial question, as a leader, are you usually able to turn your strategic plan into successful projects and achieve your breakthrough objectives? Well, the challenge at the strategy level is the direction for the organization in the near term. Target conditions at the organization levels are the challenges for the next level, which would be the functional area or the value stream. And cascading the target condition to the next level becomes the challenge for that level. So the improvement kata is an effective practice for strategy deployment. Okay, so let's wrap up. Deploying strategy and developing an improvement culture is really tough. Here is a solution. Through a process of experimentation, leaders and the team develop scientific thinking skills to achieve challenge objectives. Improvement projects become practice of scientific thinking when you add the four-step improvement kata pattern to them. 
It's a practical scientific way of working that comes from research on adaptive organizations. How does it work? Four steps. One, understand the direction or challenge. Two, grasp the current condition. Three, establish the next target condition. And four, experiment toward the target condition and learn to eliminate the obstacle that you will discover on the way. Takes leadership, vision and grit to practice the improvement kata. But the journey and the outcome are rewarding. Not only you will be able to meet challenging goals, but also you and your team will develop skills of scientific creative thinking, collaboration and communication. The improvement kata is the life skill that you will naturally start to use in your private life. It makes you a better leader that doesn't jump to conclusions. And this is the good quote for this episode. Albert Einstein said, Common sense is the collection of prejudices acquired by age 18. Isn't this beautiful? if you are one of the first three people able to identify the location of this garden, you can meet with me for a free hour of leadership coaching. Just write the location in the comment section and send me an email at wwd at imp.solutions. Also, you may have a need to improve on your leadership skills turn them into good habits or you need to practice the improvement kata. I can help you. Feel free to connect. I'll be posting the next episode in two weeks. In the meantime, don't jump to conclusions and lead well.